Medics say a man in his 30s has been left with non-life-threatening injuries after the explosion at a charity shop on Tuesday evening. It prompted a huge response from emergency services in the city which has been the target of a string of parcel bombs in recent weeks. But within minutes, Austin Police Department tweeted that the explosion was not a bomb, but rather an incendiary device. The force added, there was no package explosion in the 9800 block of Brody Lane. Items inside package was not a bomb, rather an incendiary device. At this time, we have no reason to believe this incident is related to previous package bombs. It comes hours after a parcel bomb containing nails and shrapnel exploded at a FedEx building on Tuesday. Law enforcement personnel are seen outside a FedEx store which was closed for investigation. In Austin, Texas, one worker suffered a percussion-type injury, in the latest blast which happened at the distribution center in Schertz, a suburb of San Antonio, just after midnight. The package was destined for an address in Austin where four explosions since March 2nd are believed to be the work of a serial bomber. The earlier blasts in Austin have killed two people and injured six more, and were being probed as is possible hate crimes. Police in Schertz said the medium-sized package contained nails and shrapnel was on a conveyor track when it detonated. Hours later, a FedEx building in Austin was evacuated. The bomb which went off at a FedEx sorting station contained nuts and bolts. Image, Reuters, more than 350 special agents have been drafted in by the FBI are probing a fifth device, containing nails and pieces of metal, to cause maximum harm. This person is taunting law enforcement that he's one step ahead, admitted Brian Manley, Austin's stand-in police chief. Earlier on Tuesday, authorities confirmed a bomb that injured two on Sunday appeared linked to three earlier explosions. Victim Draylen Mason, 17, was a talented double bass player, image, Twitter slash at Usum closing parenthesis, image, FBI, police said this showed a higher level of sophistication, evident from the use of a tripwire to detonate it, beside a residential street. Officer Manley added, We are clearly dealing with what we expect to be a serial bomber at this point. Homeland Security, the FBI, ATF, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, and local police departments are probing the bombing spree. Image, Reuters, Image, Reuters, San Antonio's Fire Department tweeted, This is what we have gathered and officially, shortly after 12 midnight, a package destined for Austin, Texas detonated at the FedEx distribution facility located at 9935 Door Lane. The package was said to have contained nails and shrapnel. Of 75 people working at the facility, only one complaint of injury described as a non-life-threatening percussion-type injury. All inbound and outbound packages are in limbo, and transport vehicles are in gridlock. At this hour, ATF and FBI assets are beginning to arrive. The first three were parcel bombs in Austin were dropped off in front of homes on the city's east side, with the fourth an apparent tripwire device that went off on the city's west side on Sunday. Image, Reuters, Image, Reuters, authorities investigate one of the earlier bombings in Austin, Texas. Image, Reuters, those four devices were similar in construction, suggesting they were the work of the same bomb maker, officials said. Explosion on a sorting conveyor belt, shortly after midnight, came hours before emergency crews were called to a FedEx facility in Austin to inspect a another suspicious package there. FBI Special Agent Michelle Lee said, although it was still early in the investigation, it is likely that all five bombings are related. She didn't release details about the size, weight or description of the packages that exploded. But the first two bombs raised the possibility of a hate crime because both victims were African American. And investigators believe that the third device, which injured a 75-year-old Latina woman, may also have been intended for a black family's home. First to die, on March 2, was 39-year-old Anthony House, followed by Draylen Mason, 17, on March 12. His mother was injured as he opened the lethal package. One FedEx worker was injured when the parcel exploded, Image, Google, and 75-year-old Esperanza Herrera was severely injured when a package bomb exploded at her home a few hours later. In the wake of the attacks, President Donald Trump has been criticized for his silence over the bombings, especially as most victims are from the city's historically black and Latino areas. Unlike other attacks, such as the Pulse nightclub shooting in Florida, which Trump was quick to brand as terrorism, he has remained silent about the Austin bombs. Austin is visited by more than 20 million tourists every year and is possibly best known for hosting the South by Southwest Film, Media and Music Festival, which was recently held from March 9 to 18 amid the bombings. British holidaymakers visiting the city have been warned to be vigilant. On its travel advice website, The Foreign 
British nationals in the area should remain vigilant and follow the advice of local law enforcement authorities.